Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there was a whimsical kingdom known as Solvang that was magically planned. In an enchanted place called Central California, it was a Dutch village and the Danish capital of America, meaning sunny fields named after the sunshine it bestowed upon the Santa Inez Hills. It was full of majestic creatures, a place for all the children and their parents too. Welcome to Solving! A childlike place of wonder and drama for all ages to see was inspired by Hans Christian Andersen, Danish writer of fairy tales like these. But then, one winter's night, an old rat-tailed witch appeared. Selfish and cruel, he wanted to ruin Christmas for the children. It would take the princess who loved solving most come what may. And that's where our story begins, on that most fateful day. Where am I? Am I still in Amsterdam? Did I take the red pill? Are you going to take the red pill? Or the blue pill? Oh no. There was that awful rat-tailed witch. Hello. I am the rat-tailed witch of Solva. <gasps> you have found yourself in quite a predicament, young lady. First, you must show all of your viewers exactly what Solvang and the Santa Inez Valley is all about. Or else, the children will not know what Christmas is all about. Now let me vanish! I have to show the children the magic of solving. I know. So with three clicks of her wooden shoes, the princess knew what she had to do. And after a breakfast that was magically delicious, she was off to prove to the witch she could be the most ambitious. Thank you! Hello, me again, princess. If you want me to tell you how the little mermaid fares at the end of the book, spoiler alert, she dies, then you must show everyone the Hans Christian Andersen Museum today. The museum. A tribute to folklore such as the Emperor's new clothes, the princess in fashion decided to ditch her bows. Welcome to the Hans Christian Andersen Museum and Book Loft. You might know this famous author by writing amazing fairy tales like The Ugly Duckling, The Princess and the Pea, The Snow Queen, which is frozen, and The Little Mermaid, which is big here in Solving. But let's go inside and check it out. A shoemaker's son, this Danish treasure lived to tell wonderful stories that would captivate the world forever. Here is the copper statue of Hans Christian Andersen. The one that we saw inside the museum is actually a plaster cast and they do that so that there will be no imperfections and that this can turn out perfectly the way it did. Friends from Denmark sent this to the city of Solvang. And so, the princess continued through town with her noble steed, giving us her best travel show host. I'll let you in on the magic. Solving was founded in 1911 by Danish-American educators on 9,000 acres of land. Solving has four famous wooden windmills. These guys within four blocks. And five famous Danish bakeries within five blocks.
Our personal favorite is Mortensen's Bakery. Feed the lion. She shared where to find her favorite sweets. In my opinion, this is the best almond bear claw in the entire world. At least that I've tried. But still holds up. This is called an Abel Skiver. It's a Danish pancake. It's fried dough and it means apple slices in Danish. I actually didn't get one of these until like my last trip back here. I've been coming here for years. My honest review, you can't come here and not try this thing, but go to Mortensen's. Viking culture is big in solving. Solvang is a place that you come to experience your inner child walking around, fairies everywhere, fairy culture. Working up an appetite, the princess headed to share her favorite place to make a picnic. To take to her favorite winery, Fess Parker. Bought and named after the actor who played a storybook character you might know. Tom Davy Crockett. Although he quite resembles the rat-tailed witch. It was also in an Academy Award-winning picture. I am not drinking any more love! Princess read to her steed the original and yes dark story of the Little Mermaid, but explained the true meaning, that even though she was gone, to be reminded of her whenever you see sea foam, because her spirit would forever live on. And always try your best to fight for a happy ending. Hello. Princess, it's the Red Tailed Witch back again. Now I must remind you that before the sun sets, you must secure true love's kiss with the most handsome, dare I say, gorgeous man in all the land. Mwah. <laughs> okay, I'll do my best. Because her prince seemed to be a miss, she went to the place to conjure memories where she once shared a true love's kiss. As the sun began to set, she could only hope it was enough to appease the old witch. Me again, princess. So, did you, or did you not, show your audience the magic of Sulva? Um, can I show you the footage? Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, I see lots of Beautiful, gorgeous, establishing shots of the hills. I see lots of shots of Solvang. But you didn't get Fess Parker. I did. You did not get Melville Winery, clearly. I did. What about the magic of the animals and the wine? Of course. The year-round Christmas spirit of this town? Yep. All right, it's pretty good, actually. I gotta be honest with you. Christmas is on. Be gone! <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> 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 
And so the princess danced in glee as she was able to share the magic of solving before Christmas Eve. It's a time with our loved ones to show that we care when family and friends come together to share. So this Christmas season, let us all do our parts to keep Christmas alive all year in our hearts. And may all your days be merry and bright. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night.